Okay, so on the bench today, we have an ICO 232 vacuum tube voltmeter. It looks to be actually in pretty good condition. It's It's got this original leather strap on it, carrying handle. It does have a place here. The cord has been well, it got grounded about the same time. Whatever happened there. Missing a calibration cap there, but not too bad looking. It's not too bad at all. Uh, let me get the screws out of it and reposition this camera and we'll take a look at the inside. Okay, so we're back. We got the screws out of it. And it looks to be, except for the battery there, got some corrosion on that. Looks to be all original, except for the battery. Well, no, wait a minute. The tubes are GEs. I would imagine back in the day, those would have been ICOs. Definitely going to need a recap. For sure. There's some pretty dirty tracks there, too. Needs to be cleaned up. Need to put a polarized cord on it, of course, because that thing is toast. Not too bad looking at all. There's hope. There's hope. It did come with the, the original Uniprobe. Let's check that out. And the ground. It came with the ground as well. So that's good. Most of them seem to be missing those. So, well, let me. Uh, do a little bit of uh, work to this thing here, get it recapped, check the tubes on it, and then uh, we'll come back and take a peek at it and see how everything works. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. I gotta say, that's, this has been the hardest recap ever. Whoever built this thing in the beginning did not want it to come apart. So they didn't just stick the caps through the eyelet and solder them. They wrapped them around there several times. <laughs> so that was a bear. Uh, we got it recapped. There were two resistors that were way out of tolerance on it. I went ahead and changed those while I was in there. Checked the tubes. The tubes are good. So we're... Sitting idle right now, I said to, to let, on the calibration thing, to let it warm up for a couple of hours. So we've been doing that. So I guess we're ready to start a calibration process. It says, set the function selector at AC volts, which we're at AC volts. The range selector at 1500 volts. Okay. 1500 and the uniprobe at AC ohms and we're at AC ohms short the uniprobe to ground cable and use the zero adjust control to set the meter pointer exactly at the left hand zero okay so let's do that Probably doesn't look like it in the camera, but that is absolute zero right there. So, uh, keeping the lead shorted, reset the range selector at 1.5 volt and use the AC balance potentiometer R27 to reset the meter pointer at the left hand zero. Okay, so 
We'll go to 1.5 volts. And we're out, so. Reset that. Okay. About there. It might be really touchy. That one little spot. There we go. Okay. Next, AC voltmeter calibration. Set the function selector at AC volts, which was still there. The range selector at 150. Uniprobe to AC on, which is still there. So connect the uniprobe and the ground cable across the 117 volts AC supply. But we're not going to do that. We're going to hook it to a uh, Variac with a isolation transformer and a volt limiter. So we don't make any mistakes there. I did change the cord on it, so it is polarized now. So we really don't have to worry about that too much. But just to be on the safe side, we're not, you know, this way we can arrange it. And I've got another meter hooked up to it so we know what we're running here. We're running here right now at this very moment, 121.4 volts. So with a Variac, I can adjust this to whatever we want. So I can adjust it to 120, 115, whatever. So we're going to do that. Let me hook that up real quick and we'll see what we got here. Variac on. Make sure we're still zero. Okay. Bring the voltage up. Should read 120 volts. And it does not. So let's bring that up to 120 right man it's just touchy right about there See, it goes back to zero. Man, touchy, touchy, touchy. There we go, finally. Okay. And that's step two. It says, Maximum accuracy of which the instrument is capable is desired. Apply exactly 150 volts on the 150 volt range or 50 volts on the 50 volt range and adjust R32 for exactly full scale deflection. Okay, so let's set it for 50 volts. Approximately 50 volts there. So let's put it on the 50 volt range. So we're still at zero. Just 
Just a little off there. There, that is maximum deflection right there. Okay. So our next step is the DC voltmeter calibrations. Shut that off. Set the function selector at DC plus volts, which is there. The range selector at five volts. And the unit probe at DC. So connect the uniprobe and the ground cable across two flashlight cells in series, which will provide a voltage of 3.1 volts. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to use the power supply for that. So let me set the power supply up. little bit low so let's oops so let's set that so make sure we're still at zero there's zero Three volts exactly right there. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, let's adjust it a little higher. Screw to 15. See if we get full deflection. Sit there. Let me set this just a little bit. There's fifteen. A little bit off. There's 15 there, so let's drop it back down to five. Quite even. It's really, really close, though. We're still at zero, so okay. Of course, the ohms is just.
I set it to infinity. And short the probes. See if we got see if we got a zero on it. That's pretty close. Of course you could just ground it out to the chassis. And we'll get a zero on it. Just reading the resistance of the cables, probes. That's pretty close to me. Looks pretty good to me. I think we've got a fixer. So, let me shut her off. But yes, it was, a, it was definitely a chore to get it recapped. battery was still good in it even though it looked a little bad but it was still good so we're going to use it for now there it all is it's all up and working so let me uh I'll put the screws and the cabinet back to it and uh, we're going to call this one finished thanks for watching and have a blessed day